During the 1800s, women wore tight corsets that made their waist appear smaller. Women would have multiple maids help them into their clothing and help them out. The time that it took for a woman to get dressed was around 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many layers they were putting on. When Queen Victoria died in 1901 and King Edward VII became King of Britain, the clothing started to become more relaxed, which carried over to America. In 1917, America entered World War I, and the government wanted women to start working the jobs of the soldiers. The women started needing clothing that was more functional in these new work environments. They also needed clothing that was easier to put on, since most of the maids would be helping out in the workshops as well. Hairstyles also became shorter in order to avoid it getting caught in the large machinery. In the 1920s, the lampshade dress was becoming more popular due to the fact that it was easy to move in while dancing. Dancing was one of the most popular pastimes of the new generation of teens, called flappers. The fringe would sway back and forth as the wearer moved. The dress hit just above the knee, but the fringe made it appear longer. Beating was popular for more formal events, such as dances. They were often accompanied by long strings of pearls. Many men did not come back from the war, which caused women to have more competition. They wanted to stand out among the others to catch the eye of a possible suitor. Being able to find a husband was far more difficult than it was before. To look best in these clothing, the perfect body type was the topic of conversation among all women. Before, having a full, curvy figure was the ideal. Now, it was transitioning to more of a boyish figure. Hollywood stars were becoming a greater influence, such as Jane Harlow, considered one of the best actresses in history. She had a very flat chest, even in deep V dresses. She was a beauty who starred in many of the biggest movies of the 30s, including Hell's Angels, Red Dust, and Platinum Blonde. Women saw her, among others, on the big screen and wanted to have a simple body type such as hers. This was the start of Hollywood stars influencing the public's view on the body images, which is still happening today. Many Hollywood actresses are speaking out about how body image affects girls of all ages. One of these actresses is Jennifer Lawrence, who once said, In Hollywood, I'm obese. I'm considered a fat actress. I eat like a caveman. I'll be the only actress that doesn't have anorexic rumors. I'm never going to starve myself for a part. I'm invincible. I don't want little girls to be like, oh, I want to look like Katniss, so I'm going to skip dinner.